up everybody welcome back to the channel i'm on my way to quaker for race car wednesday some some other people are supposed to be showing up so we'll see what happens keep you guys posted and show you some good footage thanks for watching made it to the track here in line looks like there's a bunch of people here i'm there got a couple cars over there sorry it's bright trailers over there we're in the staging lanes a lot of people actually here today probably because it's one of the last weekends or the last wednesdays for testing here people pulling in with their campers and their trailers a lot of people today so yep should be fun hopefully i can get a few runs in line now so there's only i don't know 10 cars or so in front of me just got here so we're still warm but Usually my first run's always the best. So here we go, we're firing up the cars, it's time to roll. See brake lights, it means it's time to go. Not because I'm losing. So here we go. Next up, see what we can do. What do we change? So we changed the suspension in the rear today. I stiffened it up, which I think it's a little too low, but we'll figure that out. And also we gotta re, uh, retune, bumped up the timing a little bit to melt some pistons, so. That should be fun. gear felt really good though. Need my slicks and I'm rubbing. Oh, remember when I said my first run's always the best? Yeah, that's not true. I spun the worst I've ever spun. The thing with having street tires still, you have to let off the gas pedal if your tires start spinning because you'll tear up the track for people that have slicks. So we ran a 16-2 that run with a 2-2 60-foot. Horrible. So I went first, spun second, spun, then went to the third, let out of it, and just laid into it through third gear. Pulled good in third gear, but besides that, we're gonna try it again. I'm number two in line. Three cars are still going, and then we got slick tire again, and then it goes back to bikes. So there's still a good amount of time before I'm up again. Corvette right there, it says, for Rari Killer. She's mad that she can't ride in it with two people. If you're faster than 1399, you're not allowed to have a passenger. So, I wonder what's gonna run.
I'm walking around looking for this prelude that I just saw. I'm pretty far away from my car. Maybe I should go back. No, they're not even racing yet. between each run and of course I went first second fifth back to third which definitely takes some time off of it but took a half second off the time I believe 15 0 which horrible 2 4 64 foot horrible 15 0 5 1 2 at 94 didn't spin that bad but I just need the slicks and I need to be able to get into the gears damn stock transmission stuff it's doing good though it feels good especially since i got it retuned it's definitely freight training up top it's just smooth before it would it boost hit vtech and then pull and then fall on its face so gotta wait another hour for my next run but maybe i'll get one more in and then hopefully next week when i come excuse me hopefully next week when i come I'll have drag slicks. So I'm sitting here trying to get my next run in, but the track's been shut down for like a half hour now, and it's already like 9.18. So a lot of people are leaving. I don't know if I should stay or leave, but I need slicks. We have no point of being here without slicks. I'm just spinning. Sucks. So it was a couple days later, I ended up leaving the track late that night. It was shut down for a few hours. Tree wasn't working or something, but I got the car here. I'm hoping to have slicks before the next time we go to the track. Uh, 
Problem is, it's getting late in the season since we're in Ohio. You can't run all year. It's not like we're in Florida. So hopefully, I'm gonna try to get him by the next time we go. But if not, I don't know if I'm gonna go again. Should have a, should have a few more weeks of racing uh, on this setup. And then over the winter, I'm gonna try to do a bunch of different changes. Uh, I got a K-Series over there. If you see in the corner right there. Then I wanna try mocking up in here. That's when, that one's for mocking. I need mounts. Uh, I like to paint the car. Or I'll just leave the F-Series that's in it and put a bigger turbo on it and see how much power we could get out of a stock engine. And then we'll go K. But the goals with this car is one day to go all-wheel drive. I haven't seen one all-wheel drive. I just saw the first one that I know of, that anybody knows of, a two-door Accord, this, this era, all-wheel drive with a K-Series in it. Uh, Saw him at FL2 actually, FL2K this weekend. So I'm gonna have to get some ideas from him. Same as the Accord, same as the Odyssey. Uh, so parts are easy to work with, but the problem is I can't even find parts for this car. Like front bumper, yeah, I haven't found one. I can't even find a brand new one. Uh, just like little things that need worked on. So we'll see what happens. See, so here's the K series right here. It's just a A8 out of an Accord, nothing special, but it'll work for mock-ups. But here's the car. As you can see, the, the paint is horrible. There's no paint on the roof. There's no paint on the trunk. Sides are nice, but it's a Vegas car, so the sign just beat on it since it was new. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, tune in next week, and we'll go from there. Thanks.